Hey guys, Wiki Cap Gaming here. Welcome back to Metroid Prime. Last time we and let's see. Uh, okay, after we got the map, we journeyed deeper into the lab. And now, oh, we got a new signal. This one's from the research core. Okay, so we're gonna have to go. Oh, we're on the right path. Okay. Yeah, we got, uh, let's see, we got the super missiles, I think, yeah, yeah, we got super missiles, we got the plasma beam from the Shiga, They can fly now. They can fly now? They fly now. And they got missiles too. But we got ours. And we just killed them in one shot. As you can tell, these are very powerful weapons we're wielding. So, uh, yeah. Oh, we got that guy still up there. Oh, I saw one over there. And we can finish this guy up with a little plasma. And he malfunctions, so that helps. Oh, and he's gonna kamikaze. But yeah, those are the flying pirates. Anyways, it's been a good while. Currently trying to schedule a DD game. Got this room right here. You know, nice simple room. Not much going on. Oh wait. Okay, yeah, that's the way we're supposed to be going. So now if we jump up top here, we'll find we got some blocks. Okay, you're not gonna blow, so I'll get a better missile. And we can see ice. So, you need extreme heat to melt this, and then there's something up that way that we're not allowed to scan. I can just jump out the window. Let's keep moving. Gotta scan an elevator. Research lab Aether! actually for the Super Bowl, what we were doing when we were doing our wings and whatnot. So, yeah, pretty good time. I was doing all the sauces and whatnot. Got it. Oh, this looks like important stuff. The missiles 
initial transfer. Oh, jeez. Prepare to hear it. Metroid. To Talon 4 research facilities has been completed. Three were terminated in an incident at the landing site, but the others were pacified and transported safely. Initial phase on infusion testing is underway. We are eager to observe the efforts, the effects of phase on on Metroids, especially their ability to absorb and process the energy given off by phase on sources. Early research suggests a considerable growth in power and size. Whether the creatures stay stable thereafter remains to be seen. Wow, we got 50% of all logbook scans. That's pretty cool if you ask me. of Geoform 187, codenamed Ridley, was recently completed. After his defeat on Zebus, Command ordered a number of metagenetic improvements for him. Though aggressive, we were able to implement these changes in a cycle. The metamorphosis was painful, but quite successful in the end. Early tests indicate a drastic increase in strength, mobility, and offensive capability. Cybernetic modules and armor plating have been added as well. The belief we believe our creation, now called Meta Ridley, will become the main the mainstay of our security force, a job he will certainly relish. What is this, an Indian soap opera? <laughs> Jeez, that one-liner, though. Alright. Morphology. Metroid. Energy-based parasitic predator. The dominant species of planet SR388. Metroids can suck the life force out of living things. Metroid will latch onto its prey and drain energy, growing larger as it does. The only way to shake an attached Metroid is to enter Morph Ball mode and lay a bomb. Uh oh! Like so, you just get down, you drop as many bombs as possible, and you just blast. So, anyways, it started blasting. Oh, come on, I missed. Oh, of course the morph bomb. Hey. Yeah, these did stop. There's more on these. I guess we we'll see. Still got some more stuff to scan here. But they're still up to no good.
Okay, let's jump out. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. damage. It says DS, doesn't it? <laughs> it's... Wait, hold up. If this game was released in 2001... Yeah, this can't be a prediction for the DS. Like, that, that would just be way too early. I mean, I think there was a Metroid Prime Hunters demo or something. I bet it was like the launch title for the DS. I know that, that that was one of the first games they showed for the system, because it was like a really big deal that this tiny little thing was running the next new venture. Radiation readings indicate extreme radioactive. Actually break the containment units. Ah, oh, come on, I totally blessed that thing. Okay, there we go, you have the pattern down. Well, let's clean up the proper gear and just Oh, hey, we got an energy tank in that one. Let's blast that open. Energy tank. Lovely. Just what I need. And we can blast that one open, too. Whoa. He's unbreakable, unkillable. He's the ultimate life form. Ay, ay, ay. Now, I'm not gonna read all this unless it's like marked as important. Like this one right here. Studies of Metroid biology continue, though with limited progress. It seems likely that we will much more successful using the Metroids for our, me for our means rather than trying to reproduce their powers. 
they could be adequately tamed, we would have to we have no need of a proper understanding of their metabolism. A, str a small force of disciplined Metroids could wipe out entire armies. And, once we found a way to shield them from cold containment weapons, they will be invincible. Furthermore, if we could then harvest the energy they consume, we would have a near limitless source of power at our disposal. Yeah, they're thinking about using Metroids for world domination. World domination! World domination! Metroid di dissection continues to provide more questions than answers. Our research team have isolated the energy conduits that run from the invasive twin mandibles to the energy core in the creature's quadripartite nucleus. But the manner in which a Metroid actually extracts the life force from its prey remains an utter mystery. The victim does not lose blood or any other vital, vital fluids, and yet the Metroid extracts energy. Identifying this energy is our central problem. It takes no physical form, and yet without it, the victim dies. We will continue to research this matter as the isolation of this life-giving essence could be the key to our ascendance. Oh no, <laughs> ascending. When you find the stone of it. I forget how to pronounce it. Asia? Or something? Uh, Project Titan. We've heard quite a bit about that going down here, and uh, you know, we'll probably hear even more about it in the near future. Here, let's see those. Glad they don't make you have to use a super missile for that, otherwise that would be wait, I just saw out. I knew I saw an enemy. Oh, it's dead. Okay then. Oh, we oh this is an ice burrow or, or ice beetle. Yeah. scan these things to shut off their power. But I was reading the life energy thing. That had me think about uh, Dark Souls. Because I've been playing Dark Souls recently. And, uh, and just the whole like Souls humanity thing. I wanted to make a joke about that. So you just supplies power to the idiot containment force field at the bottom of the world. it's nice to actually take the stairs, you know? Yeah, man, that Dark Souls, I was a little shaky on it at first, because I wasn't sure how I felt, but once I started pulling off those, like, parries and the one-hit kills, it got pretty fun. Maybe more Metroids. Okay, there's gotta be a system that I can hook up to on this floor. Oh shoot, there's a turret down there. That's actually been blasting at us the entire time. Since I haven't taken any damage, now, since we came in here. Oh, 
Okay, it's fine. Okay, I guess it is possible that there's nothing on this floor, so... Yeah, so much for taking the stairs. Okay, got another one offline. I just... I just need one more. Kinda weird that they didn't take off the rings. The rings first. But, eh. Do what you want, that's weird, I guess. It's rated R, so, you know. I think we all had a pretty good laugh about it. Wait, is that like... Let me get this straight. That's like solid ground, and I can't walk on it because there's like clear glass here or something. Okay, kind of whack, but all right. They didn't put the stairs here. Also, I'm just looking at all the glass containers. It's gonna be really fun going back through this place because of all the Metroids. All right. And the rings are gone now. So we can just get the visor. Thermal visor. Oh, get ready, guys. If you've had trouble seeing, prepare to see clearly. Thermal visor acquired. Welcome, everyone, to the world. Wait, hold up. What's going on? Oh. Okay, door's open again. Welcome everyone to the world of thermal vision. Just for reference, I'm pretty sure these guys are actually the cloak pirates. Honestly, I gotta say, this area, from a D&D perspective, would be one heck of an encounter. It's like, you encounter those ghostly guys on the bottom floor, and all of a sudden, on your way out, all of these, like, creatures held in their cages start escaping. It's just so cool because you have to like, as soon as they break out, it's like an, another encounter begins. Got one over on this side. You guys can probably see this, like, really good, so I'll try to keep it in this visor format so that we, we can see better, but it's like, you know, I can't keep this on all the time. For instance, if I take this into Magmore Caverns, the entire screen's gonna turn a bright red and it'll blind everyone, so yeah, I can't do it all. Shut off! Oh no! This door has no power, what will we do? Well, we go back into the thermal mode, we can see this little 
valve or something. So if we hit that with electricity, see the wire connects to this. Now the door has power again. Also, these are key killer drones that can most certainly drain your entire health. Look at how fast they drain that. So zap them with electricity, make sure they don't get a hit in, and go back into thermal mode because that is the best mode in the game. I can see clearly now the dark is gone. Let's see if I can actually read it now. They stocked up on Metroids again. They also fixed their security cameras too? Come on. Aw oh man. It would have been so cool if I could have, like while I was fighting the Space Pirates, if I blasted open the like, jars and then when the uh, Metroids came out. Metroids are sent to emergency light. Join the fight. Okay, they allow you to stand on it at least, so it will give you a slightly easier time. So roll up there. Boy, I sure am glad nothing is blasting at me. Too bad I don't have any wood to knock on right now. My hands are too busy flicking the stick. That's fine, honestly. I got this. Here we got the elevator back. Let's hop right in. And get that thermal visor. Wait, was that dude seriously watching me do that for the entire time? Wow. That's a machine, and we can't see it because it's a machine. I get it. Okay. There we go. We made it. Mission complete. Not much, but it's pretty good in comparison to this. Although I will admit, the lighting does look pretty cool. And this is probably how it would actually look. So, you know. Geez, I just realized how long we've been going. I think we're getting close to that save room. Let's see how this looks outside. Oh, uh, not bad. Oh, smoky.
get. It doesn't look too bad with the eyes are off. Also, be careful because directly below you there are space pirates that can and will kill you. So let's hit the save room. We'll save the data. And next time on Metroid Prime, we shall be continuing with the Andrana Drift. Although I think we're getting pretty close to the end of it. So yeah, we'll probably head down this way, head all the way back. And then we just got this one area I think we'll be able to reach now. We can figure it out with our new abilities. The next thing you know, we in the Thunderdome. Where two men enter, one men leave. See you guys then.